Bowman here at VW1.com. I'm going to show you a quick Windows 7 tip here. I'm going to show you the Windows taskbar. The taskbar is by far one of the biggest changes in Windows 7. There's a lot of customization, a lot of new things to it, and it's pretty cool. So we're going to take a quick look through a lot of those here. One of the first things that you notice here at the bottom that it's definitely different from what you're used to with traditional Windows. And um, one of the cool things here is all the applications are represented by icons. And when you have application open, as you can see here, all the windows are open under that one application and you can see it kind of st stands out with like a little like hover box over it to let you know that the application is open and it has a little glow underneath it too when you highlight over each application you can also drag these applications to anywhere you want to so you can sort them anywhere you want and you can do the same thing also here on the side with running tasks. You can just kind of drag these over and you can hide the ones that you don't want to see. And you can drag them out to unhide them, which is pretty, which is pretty cool. You can also, um, right here in the corner, right here in the real corner right here is where the show desktop icon is. I'm going to show you how that works. We're going to load up uh, Word file and Internet Explorer. And if we hover over this, it'll actually create that sort of that arrow peak um, glass interface to see the desktop there. And if you click on it, it'll minimize it just like it traditionally did and with the show desktop and you hit it again and it brings it back up again so that's pretty cool you can also change the size of these as well if you want to change the size all you have to do is go to the properties and you go to taskbar here and you can actually choose to use small icons which I traditionally like to use you click on that these are the smaller icons save some space on the um, screen there for you you can also here you can also change how the taskbar buttons look you can always combine and hide the you know the names of them and just use the icons you can combine when the taskbar is full so if it's not full you can see here it goes back to sort of more of the traditional windows look when it comes to the taskbar here and it'll link like applications on the side it'll keep those together as you can see here as so i drag them along and then you can also hit never combine it'll never combine them and it'll be more like traditional sort of windows windows xp or windows 2000 I like to always have them combined anyway. And we click OK. Another cool feature about the desktop is that you can pin anything you want to it. So let's say you want to pin an application. Let's say I want virtual PC. I want to have quick access to that. If you if you just right click that over that icon, you can go pin the taskbar or you can drag it over, drag it right to the taskbar and you can see right there it shows up. So now you have quick access to it. And now included with that quick access, if you right click in over any icon, it actually brings up what's called a jump list. A jump list is basically a kind of a quick access to the um, most re most used and most recent uh, features and most used features within that particular application. And you can see I right clicked on over that icon and it gave me some different tasks and recent virtual machines and such there. But let's say if I quick right click Word, it gives me the most recent documents I've used. And you can also pin stuff too. So I've decided to pin a couple of documents here so that it always shows up every time I right click over it so that I can access that document pretty quickly. And I can also open up another program too as well. I can also unpin it from the taskbar. You just click on that and unpins it. And now it only shows up when you actually have that application open. And also what's cool, we'll just check out the Zoom here. And the Zoom interface here, it gives you the quick playlist, smart DJ list, resume playing and stuff like that. So it gives you some pretty cool jump list options there. So as you can see here, there are, are there's a ton of changes in usability to the basic Windows taskbar. And it's just made it, well, it's not basic anymore. It's a lot more advanced, but it's just made it a lot more easy to use, a lot more user-friendly to use, and a lot more, I would say, enjoyable to use in, in getting around and doing your everyday tasks. So be sure to check that out. That's definitely one thing I would recommend Windows 7 for. Just the taskbar alone is just a great feature to have. I think it trumps any of the previous taskbars that are out there. So definitely, if you're looking to upgrade and you're looking for a, a feature to really look forward to, this is definitely one, the taskbar. So this is Bowman from BW1.com, reminding you to follow us on Twitter at Twitter.com, so BW1.com, subscribe to the YouTube page, follow us on Ustream, subscribe to the RSS, and always remember to live your tech world high definition.